WTFNN. Headline news update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. It's Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 30 minutes into the trading day. We got markets starting off on the positive side. Dow Jones up 20 points right now, trading 26,557. S&P is up 13, trading at 2927. NASDAQ up 51 points or almost 7 tenths percent, trading at 7961. We have the Russell 2000 up 10 points, trading at 1528. And the VIX this morning will start it off a little bit of negative action as we get some higher market VIX jumping around 1589 on that volatility index. To start things off, let's jump over to the Nadex platform, take a look at some of the futures markets. We'll start it off with the Dow. So we had been at lows just prior to 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, 26,451 in the Dow, currently trading 26,550. S&P 500 accelerates to lower prices right around the same time of 6 a.m. of 29.17. We're right back up to where we were when that slide began, 29.29 in the S&Ps. NASDAQ 100, 76.89. We got that acceleration at 6 a.m. to 76.52. Crude oil back above $59, quite a volatile trade for crude recently. We made it to a high yesterday, right after the EIA number of almost $60. Pretty remarkable, you had a 12 plus million barrel draw, much bigger than about the 3 million barrel draw they expected. And what does crude do? It spikes higher, and then wouldn't you know it, it was under $59 overnight last night, but back at about $59.40, pretty much right where we were coming into that number. Gold contract trading at 14.05 made it to a low this morning of approaching 14.02 and the euro US dollar trading 113.59. In terms of what else you have happening, it's a big day, the G20 beginning, and the news out there that President G to present Trump with terms of settling trade deal. I almost chuckle a bit because if you get into the details of this, China will demand that the U.S. lift its ban on sale of U.S. technology to Huawei Technologies. I don't know if you've heard the rhetoric from the president against that technology. I don't see that happening. China also expects the U.S. to remove all tariffs and drop efforts to get China to buy more U.S. exports. I'm not sure. This is a Wall Street Journal report. Uh, yeah, the Democratic 2020 first debate as election season begins last night. It's happening again tonight. Walgreens posted earnings and we're going to fly the W.A.G. Stay tuned, folks. Come back at 10 o'clock with Tom live programming all day. Have a great Thursday.